So I did a recent interview with the founder of Taps, which is a sex chocolate brand that is completely killing it. I mean, they've done 50K days on launches and stuff like that. Like they're really crushing it. And in this video, I wanted to share a little snippet of that interview in which I asked Jake, one of the founders, what he would advise someone that was just starting because his journey is actually pretty interesting. He started with drop shipping, you know, testing a ton of different products for a long time. And then now he's transitioned into building a brand and to building something that he loves to work on that he loves building and that he's really proud of so here's the clip after the clip is done i do suggest you guys go check out the full interview it was so insightful and really fun honestly we had a good time so here it is i'm curious now then like what would you advise let's say somebody who's just getting started because again like a lot of people are in that situation what, what's your advice now after going through that journey and now building like this brand that you love and that's also becoming like super successful really fast I never really know the answer to this question. Um, it's a hard one. But I guess like, I guess kind of what I said, which is just like, you, you got to try a lot um, of, of different methods. I mean, I'm trying to think back. I think like, you really got to be persistent with it. Um, I feel like someone said this, like someone said this quote, but like, if you knew like what you were going to get into before you started, like you wouldn't, like if you knew the whole story you probably wouldn't have started like if i if i had known when i wanted to start an app the twenty thousand dollars that i needed would take two years and probably a lot of uh you no know, if it was just for the money and not for the skills or anything else um there's much better ways to make twenty thousand dollars um so i probably would not have started if i knew the full story so i think you just got to be persistent in it and then probably trust that there's something waiting for you at the other end um then I feel like for drop shipping, drop shipping is I haven't been in the space obviously for quite a bit, but I remember at the time thinking that it was like really unsustainable. Um, just with PPC, I, I was mostly doing Facebook and I was constantly getting banned. I just thought that was like not the way to go, um, and everyone was like copying my products and stuff. And I'm I'm sure you face this all the time, mm -hmm. which is just you know you could think of it as part of the business, which I'm I'm sure it is, and then you could to adjust from there, but that was just never, it was just way too competitive for me personally, um, after, after some time. So I think you definitely want to figure out, like once you figure out drop shipping, how do you transition out of drop shipping and kind of either make a, whatever it is like my, my route or like a SaaS product. I know a lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. Um, even like, uh, uh, honestly, like I started like a mentorship type thing just to subs like to, to add to my income because option was like not as sustainable as I um, wanted it to be. So I, I guess just, you know, more of the story is be persistent um, yeah. and figure out how to advance from there. That's a good one. And I will say like, that's a really smart thing to do as a founder. Cause obviously like you don't want to take money out of the business. And like, that's the most difficult part is like, you know, you obviously got to live. So, you know, consulting, I think that's a really, good thing to have yeah. like on the because it's not something that's going to take a ton of time like maybe an hour um i mean kind of like what you're doing here right now um right. so I, I agree i think that's a really smart thing and also with drop shipping like just differentiating yourself so yeah like going the extra step to maybe private label your stuff maybe put some sort of competitive mode around your product um that's a really smart thing one thing no. i noticed about your oh sorry no you go Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say something I noticed about your brand is that you guys are running it like a media company. Um, and I think that's so dope because I think, you know, that adds a huge competitive moat. And not only that, but just like, I feel like for investors, that would be so, so valuable. Right. Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, we were we were running these reposts on like all these short form video platforms, right? It's so like Snapchat. Um, all, all these like short form, like Facebook reels, uh, whatever it was. And, um, um, kinda, you know, like I said earlier, it, 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 you don't really need an audience if you identify a product that has natural viral potential and, you know, you don't have to create too much of a story around it. Really the story with tabs is like, our thinking was like, if you know what the product is, which is sex chocolate, it's gonna, it's gonna go viral and people are gonna want to actually hear it versus say a different product, like a good example is insurance, right? 
insurance you have to like like these insurance companies are like doing everything to like try to be interesting like with the get-go and yeah and state farm like fire whatever like it's all about like way too extravagant with us it's kind of we have our job a little bit easier because um we just have to convey what the product is true uh and then from there people actually want to buy it unlike other industries so yeah making a bunch of content uh was super important for us because it's free mostly right. uh, or it's a one-time cost and then it goes a long way um in terms of reposts and and doing different um or reposting on different pages and whatnot definitely i think that's one of the blessings that we have right now like even for drop shipping but just in general for e-commerce like direct to consumer is like even though facebook ads are really shitty at tracking and everything now we have you know short form content and platforms like TikTok, where you can repost it on Instagram Reels, Pinterest, to YouTube Shorts, like every comp every social media platform is like going towards this style of content now.